campus of the University of Connecticut on Senior Day. And this is NCAA basketball on CBS. Very big one coming to you out of the Big East as Louisville takes on the Huskies of UConn in the standings in the Big East Conference. Syracuse with a big win last night at home over Villanova. Louisville earlier this week losing by 10 at home to Georgetown. Meanwhile, Connecticut coming up with a huge win against West Virginia. They need one more win to become 500 in the conference. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson along with the Governor Bill Raftery, and welcome to Stores. And, Coach, these two teams are in the NCAA tournament hunt, and you couldn't say that about them a month ago. They're playing better, and the coaches are smiling, and why not? Their records have improved, their RPI has improved, and they're playing solidly with Louisville. It's Amardo Samuels. He's the main reason. He's very tough around the rim. He's been able to step out and make shots. He's running, and he can finish, and they find him. And you counter that with his ability at the rim. Extraordinary to course, Stanley Robinson. Great hops. Can put it on the deck. He stepped out and made three. But oh, Hogo sticks when he's around the rim. But leading the show, the guards. So says been solid. Edgar's finding guys and making good decisions. Kemba Walker has been terrific, making plays ever since the Michigan game. All right, coming up, the second meeting of the season between these two. Cardinals got them in Louisville during the first. Rick Pitino in his ninth season at Louisville, the only coach in NCAA history to lead three different teams to the Final Four, Providence, Kentucky, and the Cardinals. Let's take a look at his lineup. Jerry Smith and Edgar Sosa in the backcourt. Sosa really playing well, 24 points in his last game. And watch Samardo Samuels. He knows how to get to the free throw line, and they need Delph to hit some jump shots today. Meanwhile, Kemba Walker, the point guard, terrific. Dyson is their leading scorer, and in the front court Stanley sticks Robinson on senior day he plays well above the rim Hall of Famer Jim Calhoun somewhere in the middle of that huddle his team has won three in a row most recently against West Virginia 73 to 62 and they've won four out of the last seven and what I love about coach Calhoun he's won two national championships but he's always miserable he's <laughs> never happy and a look at the officials, Jim Burr, Carl Hess, and Jeff Clark. Gus Johnson, along with the governor, Coach Bill Raftery, 10,167 in attendance. It's a sellout crowd in stores, and we're underway. Hey, Gus Johnson. Louisville goes. Jimmy does smile once in a while. We give him that. Every blue moon, you'll catch him crack a smile. And there's that 2-3 now. A lot of man-to-man -man principles. And a little bit of footsteps there, and they will make you do that with their activity around the rim. Okwandu, the junior seven-footer from Nigeria, shuffling his feet. And here comes Sosa. Sosa against Georgetown, 24 points, eight assists. Ooh, almost down. a travel there, and a travel. And as Jimmy, right, refereeing early. Uh, get right on top of it. Coach, I can do it on my own. And a big problem, I think, for UConn is handling that ball screen. How they adjust if they trap it and string it out. Something Rick Vitino anticipates. So Louisville back in the zone. How do you beat the zone, Coach? A flash and I right there and turn and look. Ooh, goodness. Could have gone right to the rim. Okwando with the rebound and a foul inside on the miss by Atir Majuk. I think the big thing, too, is dribbling against the zone. Years ago, they wouldn't permit it. Now, getting in the cracks, Walker and Dyson, uh, they're pretty good at it. They can create or find people. So Majuk checks out of the game, and early on, Gavin Edwards comes in, and they're really impressed with the way Gavin Edwards has played this season. They compared to Hilton Armstrong, similar numbers, very few minutes the first three years, stepping up his senior year. Block shots, runs, can make that little jump shot. Comes up short. Loose ball, batted around, picked up by Aquando. Walker, down. He is alive, and they're finding him. Dyson unselfish with a quick pass. So Gimba Walker gets UConn on the board as Louisville comes the other way. That's where they got to go tough. Samuels got to be tougher with the ball. 
They rake down. Sosa, 20-footer. And Sticks Robinson goes up high. And what a check out of Wando. And running right to the rim is Edwards. Edwards posting now. Drop step. Lost it. Gets it back up high. And in. He does have a little offense now. He's got the jump hook with either hand. But the best feature, at least to me, as Rick Pitino calls the timeout, is the big fella's ability to get up and down the floor. Connecticut getting it going early. Five to nothing. Huskies with the lead. Before the game, he finds other people. His judgments are much better. Sosa slashing to the basket. The kick deep in the corner. Delp. Loose ball. Inside, up, and in. Samuels, not only is he a good rebounder, but he knows how to get to the free throw line. Well, his size, too. Big, strong, and broad. Takes up a lot of area. The big thing when Louisville plays, if they make jump shots, because they drive and kick beautifully. The last time they played, they were six for six from three out of the gate against UConn. UConn's trying to do a better job guarding the three-point line. Of course, the turnover there. Louisville forcing 15 and a half turnovers per game. They should be able to get offensive rebounds if they block shots. Nice hands by Edwards Canada. taking it away. Walker in transition. Extra pass. Aquandu, a 15-foot brick. Well, you are harsh on the big guys. Dell, another jumper. Uh, he can make them too. They need him to ring the bell. He's the nephew of former Kentucky star Tony Delt, who played for Rick Pitino and won a national championship. Uh, the one thing about UConn, they've been led the country in block shots eight years. They really understand, but defensively, it's always been in the right spot. And that was almost a turnover on his own. Uh, Gavin in the right spot contributes mightily, usually blocking shots. So Kemba Walker serves as the inbounder. He averages 14 points a game inside. Nice look on the inbounds to Sticks. And he has his first basket of the game. And he's a guy that dives to the rim. Usually he's the last guy in that stack. And Louisville fell asleep. Sosa really coming on as a point guard for this Louisville team. Unnoticed, as coach told us before the game. That's an air ball. Loose inside. Samuels can't get it to stay down. A lot of banging going on. Here comes Walker, the speedster. Robinson can't hold on, oh, but Dyson is there. A heavy play, you might say. Let's put your head to good use. Tough catch on the run there. We beat Walker, put it behind Robinson. 4 2 with this little. Rat -tat -tat. Huge game with NCAA implications. Louisville needs this one on the road. Rick Pitino told us that if they can get this one and maybe a couple of more, they may get in. A nice block by Dyson. Robinson in transition. And a five. Boy, UConn in transition, very tough. And it all starts with pretty good defense. The reaction, they make you adjust. You must pump. But right here, you can just see all of a sudden exchanging and not recovering. Not a, you've got to follow that guy, be in a denial stance. And Robinson at the line. And, you know, I'm so proud of this kid and so happy for this kid. A couple of years ago, he was having some problems adjusting. He took some time away from school, worked a regular job, understood the values of having an opportunity to play at the University of Connecticut. And on senior day, he held his jersey up high. The fans cheered for him, and uh, he has a very bright future. Oh, coach. What's great is how we handle it. A lot of kids don't handle it quite that well. Uh, you know, step back, evaluate the situation. And boy, is he really blossomed. And uh, every game, there are a number of NBA staffs because of his athleticism. But more importantly, he can make shots now and put them on the deck, which is very important. Expanding his game, guys. Swapshire checks in. He takes a jump shot. Louisville unable to get anything to fall to start this game. Now you're not making shots, you can't press and turn them over. They're one of seven inside Sosa, stepping in the passing lane, coming up with the steal. Tigre. Burke with a nice look, good offensive rebounder. Nice side, Smith slices to the basket. Beautiful play on the backdoor cut. And they have backed off the pressure all half court when they have been able to ring the bell. So here comes Walker with Dyson and Robinson. Edwards as well. More of a pure matchup right now. 
Inside, nice catch and slam. Great dribble penetration. That's the difference in Kemba Walker. A point guard now, feeling it, analyzing, and selecting beautifully. Nice show. Something they had trouble with last game. The other way, rejected by Sticks. Scored a goal. Wow. Good They're going to call it a basket, though. This is a mighty senior day by a mighty elevating Stanley Steamer Robinson. And it's been a long journey for Sticks, but he held that jersey high before the game on senior day. You got off to a good start. And the cuse, the Heimer, probably out celebrating today with a little apple juice and cornflakes <laughs> or pebbles. Congratulations. 13 to 6, Connecticut with the lead as Louisville gets back into the zone. Huskies, 5 of 8 from the field to start this game. Beverly now just to be solid. Don't try to do anything out of the ordinary. Donnell Beverly in the game, Walker. And a whistle and a hold on the baseline. Looks like Sosa. Yeah, Edwards had made a cut there. And he picks up his second. He may have to sit. Rick Patino has a decision to make now. Sosa is starting point guard with two fouls. So Patino. We'll see if his senior can play with two fouls. Beverly has just checked in. Robinson, step back 16. Tell him. That, that's what he's improved at. Good analysis. Well, he can elevate and look down. Boy, plumb bomb. So Sosa, Swapshire, Jennings, Smith, and Couric inside. Nice jump. Oh. What a nice Ryan Jennings. Entry. Swapshire with a pretty good high-low entry pass. This kid keeps getting better. Terrence Jennings, 6'10", sophomore, 240. So he's a load. Oriaki is in the game for Connecticut. He wears number 34. White. I wish Edwards were a little more selfish. He got that ball in the lane. Just use that jump hook. He can deliver with either hand. Here he is again. Nice cut. Cross screens. And Edwards fouled. Louisville got caught in a change in defense. And Connecticut makes him pay. It's amazing when you reverse the ball and cross screen. Guys fall asleep. Don't communicate. Edwards very active early. And they're finding him. And that is the second foul on Jennings. So all of a sudden, some early foul trouble for Louisville. Usually in college basketball, when a player gets two fouls in the first half, they sit down. Sosa with two. Jennings with two. Run your brackets online for free with Bracket Managers. Invite your friends, fill out brackets, and Bracket Manager does the rest. Sign up now at cbssports.com slash brackets. Good luck on the brackets this year. <laughs> well, how about Kentucky losing to Tennessee yesterday? Kansas to Oklahoma State. State. Well, I know Coach Beheim was a little nervous going into that game last night. Oh, absolutely. Villanova goes a great perimeter game. I think the size won out last night. Great zone defense, dominated, and big guys. Excellent. And Sosa finds Samuels. Jump hook inside, way short. Good defense. Swapshire can't pick it up. And it's finally tracked down by Dyson. Dyson, the kick. He's, he's there to manage things. Handle, get it low, get this a little too high. Maybe Robertson could have gotten it. I don't know if Edwards could. It's very interesting, though, as Connecticut turns it over for the fourth time. They are really looking for Edwards on the box. They want to get it to him and run it through him every time down. Absolutely. I mean, he just does, gets it to the right spot, and that's why he's on the floor. He's a senior, has a feel for the game. Sosa knocks that one down deep. Edgar Sosa from the Bronx, 15-footer again, Edwards, there you go. I mean, it's very simple for him. I mean, it's just blossoming. Terrific talent. Paid the price, too. Played behind to beat. Okay. Watch Edwards. First he started banging downstairs, and now he come, brings it outside. Look at this wide open, Gus. I mean, they, you don't know what to do if you're the middle guy in that zone. Now, a lot of coaches are saying, let's see if they can make it. And now they may try and take that away the next couple of trips. So the foul called on Aquandu <laughs> as he picks up his first. Edgar Sosa averaging 13 points a game on the season. At the line. 
69% free throw shooter. And what's the book on Edgar Sosa? Don't get mad at me on some of these. His thought process is a lot better. Uh, put it down better. Beats man, dribble drive, finds people judicious and creates, takes good shots. That's what he's doing. When he's playing well, doesn't try and ring the bell every trip. And what Coach Petito told us in the locker room before the game, Edgar's going unnoticed, and he's so happy with the way he's playing. He's where he thought he would be at this point in his career. Here's Smith, and he banks one in. And when you make shots or you're in good position, you can press. And Sosa now, if he has a couple of bad minutes, they take him out, he goes right back, and he regains the composure and solid play. Walker and Sosa played one year of basketball with each other at Rice. Dyson, Pure on the three-pointer screen ahead. And all set up by Kemba Walker, really playing within himself. Got to catch that. And Samuels can't hold on. He wasn't ready. Squeeze it. Drives coaches nuts when they get a little entry pass like that. And if you're a scorer of that mentality, you just capture that one. Same play, and they move up this time. Samuels. Walker runs a pick and roll. Lockshire hedges. Edwards, he's very aggressive. Turns, jump hook, lefty this time. No, littlest guy on the floor with the rebound. And all because of the attention on the big fella. Kemba Walker not afraid to get his nose bloody inside. And UConn takes a 23-14 lead. Step back, Sosa. Tough shot. Yeah, that's one I don't know. And a pretty good D by Walker. Because those two go way back to New York City. Dyson leads. And gets it to fall. Nice body control by Dyson. Terrific avoiding of the charge. Solid. Plant those two pivot feet. Connecticut with their largest lead of the game now. Dyson has seven. Robinson has six. Too many points. Listening to Rick Catino, he knows they can't get into a high scoring match with this club. Sosa again. Louisville as a team, 6 of 16 shooting, 37%. Edwards, offensive rebound, and a new shot clock deep in the corner. Now they've been dying for McDaniels to be consistent with that jump shot. Looks to Wiley bite you. Sosa kicks Kirk deep, and he gets it. That's a great decision there. That's what you become accustomed to with Sosa. Drive it in there and give it. Alone. If he had missed the last one, he would have taken that one. Try to go off the dribble. Kicks it out. Walker. Dyson really deep. Look at the weak side. And a foul. Charles Aguandu. Great position downstairs. How about the little guy dominating? You usually see him doing some things from deep or penetrating. But a little strength by Kemba. To mixing it up. Get it to me, the low box coach. I can dominate. So the committee has to decide. And Dan Guerrero, the chair of the NCAA Men's Basketball Committee, also the athletic director at UCLA, will join Greg Gumbel in the studio at halftime. And uh, I'm sure Greg will have a lot of questions for him. With Wando, six rebounds, Gus. One more, it'll be a career record. And they've got some bigs who can dominate. You take good shots, weak side rebounding. It's right there. Quando had a nice game against Notre Dame, 10 points. He's played a 34 career game. Second free throw won't go down. And the rebound squirts out. And Quando dives for it. Can't hold on. And Swapshire manages to save it. And Siva really did a nice extra pass here. Siva, they wanted to run the show. So they're going to work on that ball handling in the offseason. Good, strong move. Swap side of the basket. Contested nicely by Aquando. That's where he's got to get that left hand. He's going to put it on the left, a little baby hook. Made the deuce. Louisville back in the zone. 
Robinson fired. Well, that was dead end, didn't it? Preston Knowles is checked in. One of the first guards off the bench. Samardo across the lane, blocked by Aguanda. A combination, nothing easy. That would have been a kick out. Walker Woo! splits the defense, rejected by Knowles. Now Siva, nice little freshman guard out of Seattle. A lot of nice ball players out of Seattle. Jason Terry comes to mind. Have a good footwork, and you still got to elevate. They got the big hands dominating, prevailing. Louisville 7 of 19 from the field, 37% shooting. Up top, Walker. What a great decision by Edwards. Baseline, everybody turns and looks, and something that George Blaney was telling me, Jimmy wanted to get it behind that zone and make some great decisions. Campbell Walker averaging 14 points, and he leads the Huskies in assists with five a game, and he had a career-best 29 in the win against Villanova. Inside, Gurick can't get it to stay down. That's that brush screen lob, and he can't elevate. Everything but on that trip. Largest lead of the game now for the Huskies. Walker straight away. Ziva with a rebound. Robinson a little tired. Reached in, could have got a small change foul. Good use of the bat. I thought he could have gotten by him. Baseline, Kirk with a nice look and hits. Well, that's his second three. Those are the shots they got to make, guys. They're going to get them. They drive that crack and kick. 28-19. Louisville in some foul trouble. Jennings has two. Samuels has two. Sosa has two. What a pass. Nice look. Nice block by Swatshire out of nowhere. Great reaction. Big upside in this kid's game. Plays both ends. Plays hard. Works hard. And Swapshire. Nice job getting up and getting a hand on this one. A terrific reaction. This is a deuce, but the counter. One thing about Louisville, they stay aggressive on the D. Anything easy against UConn, do you? Oh, not at all, but I really love the pace that they've set to start this game. Very much so. The one concern that Louisville is that get out in transition, they got to get back and match up and also, I think, score so they can press and speed this game up in terms of turnovers and deflections. They haven't had many, Louisville. Louisville needs to hit a couple of shots. They are shooting 36% from the field. 8 of 22, and they've gotten some very good looks at the basket. They, they sure have. They're getting open opportunities. I didn't think they may get that to Dyson. I'm not sure. So Rick Pitino. His pal Ralph Willard alongside. Long-time Holy Cross coach. Great job there. Western Kentucky as well. Kirk, he's hit a couple. But when you play for Louisville, you better lace them up. Don't go to anybody, find out who's playing well. Nice double, and they string it. Nobody flashed. Inside, nice play. Knowles cutting to the basket, and Ziva put it on him. Now, Rick Pitino was talking about that drag dribble and what they do against it. That time, they didn't flash, but a great cut by Knowles. 28-21. Nice guys, the girls down the lane, flipped it up, no. Samuels, nice rebound inside. Meanwhile, on the other end, this one blocked. Buckles couldn't get it to fall. And a whistle, jump ball is the call. Uh, the big concern is how to handle the ball screen. And one of the things they do is they drag dribble. Just look at that beautiful read, the cut, and then the acknowledgement. And it's so deep on the court, very difficult to cover. The buckle should have finished that one, huh? He can run the floor. Yes, he can, and he can play above the rim. Louisville has trailed by as many as 12. Seven-point lead now. Samuels fouled from behind. Well, Oriaki that time just didn't get the arm out. And tomorrow on CBS, superstar Gary Underwood gets cozy with Ted. But can he trust him? A new How I Met Your Mother tomorrow, only CBS. Uh, if you don't take that low post wave of Samuels, he will decimate you. 
Oriaki picks up his first foul. And again, the deflection. Look at this defense. I mean, he's going to get a, a good peak. Nice interception. Seba. Seba with the steal, and Buckles will go to the line. Now, that's what they've got to do, I think. Make it one of those ratty games that we've had. They cause turnovers, get opportunities around the rim, get to the free throw line. So, Robinson picking up his first foul. As Joaquin Buckles, 6'8", freshman from Miami, hits the first. This week, Dave's all new with Tom Hanks, Jerry Seinfeld, Matt Damon, and tomorrow, catch Bill Murray. Followed by the Late Late Show with Greg Ferguson, only CBS. Buckles, you mentioned he can run. He's active. He blocks shots. He's good in traps. He's going to stir it up with him on the floor. So after trailing by 12, Louisville on a 7-0 run now. 28-23. They lob it. Oh! How about that look by Dyson? And the zone extended so much that opportunity was there. Oriaki got up high, just couldn't control it. Nice flash by Edwards. And a small change. See the reading the zone and the understanding of what pass to make you can just see the elevation just amazing another sneak peek but the back of the zone is vulnerable that's what they wanted to attack Did the dribble give it by that time the pass so edwards at the line he's averaging 30 minutes a game which is number one in the nation among players coming off the bench that's amazing he averaged nine minutes per game in his first three seasons Fake sub, basically. <laughs> <laughs> He's really a starter. <laughs> he is. I mean, those starter minutes and contribution. Why do coaches do that? Why, do, why doesn't he just start him? Well, I, I, I don't have the answer, but basically give somebody else some experience. He comes in within two minutes, and maybe he feels more comfortable. Maybe it's a feel they've developed. Siva. That will nice kick. Up block by Walker. Dyson. Up. Bam! Cruise control. But Edwards, the guy with the outlet, ringing the bell in the open floor. That's a guard, Gustavo. And a blocking foul coming up, and this will go against Walker. So look at Edwards as patience, as they say, is a virtue. It certainly is, something neither one of us possess, but he does. Sat back, learned in practice, and it's just amazing how he's been able to develop it. And that's proof that coaches always say big guys take longer. You know, Kareem didn't take long. I mean, guys that have that incredible talent out of the get-go, but other guys grow into their body, understand how to use the post moves, how to react defensively. It takes a long time. be able to get some offensive rebounding because they do try and block a lot of shots. Tomardo backing up. Nice pass inside. Swatshire. Oh, they call jump ball. A great reaction helping out the big guys. And it's so alert. Beverly. Uh, you got to contribute. Right here you can see they almost double up the zone and the guards sometimes stay outside and count the house. Not that time. Get him play. So the possession arrow favors. Connecticut, 32 to 23. UConn under five to go here in the first half. Remember the way shot nursing themselves into halftime. You mentioned the foul trouble, but that doesn't help. That hurts. Take a picture of that and hang it along with that number that we received. Eight points for Sticks Robinson. UConn is guarded extremely well. And they're helping the back. And they've been solid containing outside. Look at that rake. Knowles downtown. A settle. It is a great team. Extra pass. You got an open look. Dyson. Short arm that one. Oh. Robinson with a put back though. Side rebounding, you reverse the ball, something they've been trying to do, get it side to side, and then attack the 10. Sticks Robinson with 10. 
36-23. Connecticut. Largest lead of the game now for the Huskies. Siva. Big fadeaway jump shot is good for three. Nothing easy about that one. Edwards flashing. And offensive foul. Dyson. Out of control. 2.51 to play first half. Ten-point game here at Gamble. Uh, both of them having a terrific run at the end of the year. And every win enables you to impress that committee. Who do you like, Coach? Who? Right. Name a couple of teams that really jump out at you. Well, which day do you want to ask me? I would have said Kansas <laughs> the other day. I think Syracuse has been good all year. Now, Jimmy, uh, not Calhoun, but Jimmy Beheim, he feels there are moments when they played very well. Of course, last night being one of them. Uh, How about Temple? Temple's solid. They control the game. Brady Duffy does a great job. Allen's very good in the low post. Fernandez off that concussion is a kid that runs the point. Good player, Brooks. I mean, they are a good basketball team. You know what team scares me? A team that nobody is really talking about, and they just keep quietly winning. Duke. Duke, yep, I agree. Solid team, good player. Nobody's talking about Duke. They can guard, too. They can get after you. You know, Gonzaga's another team that, under the radar, because they get bumped here, they got bumped here and there, but they played a national schedule. Meanwhile, the second foul on Aquandu. And Buckles at the line. Whoever gets shown to finish that stand. You know, Michigan State did play well last week, but they've got the possibility. Texas not playing well, but A&M, uh, Davis in that center spot. Vandy beat a, a heck of a game against Kentucky the other night. Ohio State, you've had them a number of times. Evan Turner up to that. Ohio State with a chance to win the Big Ten. Possibility. Evan Turner almost averaging a triple-double as Walker brings it up the floor. And draws a foul. A little nickel dimer there by Smith. Just couldn't get it turned the other way. There's Purdue, unfortunately. Robbie Humble hurt, but they're still very good. Tom Moore's a great talent. That's right. right. Eighth team foul against Louisville, so Walker at the line. Shooting one and one. <laughs> And here's what happened with Robbie Hummel. This is what they lose. Uh, the heart and soul in a lot of ways of this team. An excellent passer, too. I don't mean the assist pass. He gives it up. They go side to side. Very unselfish player. 36% from three, so you know he can stretch the D. Good rebounder. Played last year with the bad back. So sad to see him out for the year with that knee in. 38-26. Walker with 10, Robinson with 10, Dyson with 9, Edwards with 9. For Connecticut, balance scoring. Smith up and one. Now that's really helped. You know, it's funny, Rick Pitino a couple of weeks ago said he thinks his inability to make the shots of late has made him a better player because he's put it on the deck. He takes advantage of a situation here, a clear out, good deployment, nobody in the back to jam it up. But he's a tough kid and gets empty on the defensive end as well. He can never recapture that stroke of his. Oriaki with his second foul. Jerry Smith adds the free throw. And that sets up the full court pressure now. I think Rick Pitino's done a great job nursing this team through the foul problems and a very good start by UConn to be within hailing distance. Beverly over the line, no look pass, Edwards. Good kick. Beverly, he fires and hits. Unselfish, but a big fella. So they break the back press and get a good shot. Ziva, though, on the other end, hits his second three. And nobody ready to play. That's why Jim Calhoun's out by half court. He's into the defense. For these teams, and then you think of the tournament, some are going to have to win one. Big East considered the best conference in America. Walker, nice bounce pass. Oh, Robinson there can't get it again. And a foul. And from the back, that might be Jennings' third if it was him. Now they give it to somebody else. Oh, they did get him. Oh, wow. That hurts. He has played well of late. And Trees coming in now, but look at this aggressive play around the rim. Whew. You better go in there armed for action. So three fouls on Jennings. Robinson with a really nice first half. 
for 10 points, seven rebounds. And three Jennings will sit now, and I know Coach Patino probably wishes he would have taken him out with 140 to go. You get her, your third foul. Well, yeah, Van Trees played well against Utah. Big kid, he screens, gets to the rim, blocks some shots, and works. And, and as I mentioned earlier, when you play for Rick, you work your butt off every day. You never know when you're going to be called upon to contribute. He shows a lot of confidence in the bench. He even ties those laces tightly. Ooh. Smith with a look. And hits. After he lights it up, let me tell you. What an addition he is. Smith with 10 points in the first half to lead the Cardinals. 41 to 35. They trail by as many as 13. But slowly reeling Connecticut in. As we close in on a minute to go here in the first half. Edwards. Ooh, almost threw it away. Nice play by Walker. As they squeeze him on the sideline. 10 to shoot. With the screen. Walker oh, bumped up top. Not a smart play by Buckle. With four seconds on the shot clock. He came unbuckled there. Overzealous trying to show big. And a little bit of a giveaway. And he got a choice here, Gus. Pretty good call late. And, you know, a good reaction by the big guys. Campbell Walker. Ten points. And he gets the first. Tonight on CBS, the owner of White Castle goes undercover and learns the secret of his fast food success is more than just burgers and fries. New undercover boss tonight, only CBS. Nice of your point guard shoot at 77 and going after them just a little bit. Connecticut with a high scoring first half. Walker with 12. And a whistle and foul away from the ball. Looks like Beverly is going to be called for the foul. And he's really trying to do his job. He said he helped me first, but you usually get caught. So Jerry Smith, one of the boys, will shoot one and one. Smith, the two guard on this team. Seba has played a lot in the first half because Sosa picked up two fouls. Smith, one and one. Now Seba kid he really understands how to run a team too. It's not a liability when he goes on the floor. And again, the ability of Rick to keep close, so keep in contact, and save the bodies over the Jennings on the third foul. Beverly checks out, Dyson back in. Knowles getting ready to check in. And this is their energy lineup when Knowles comes in. Usually they can get after you, squeeze it a little bit. Shot clock is turned off. Connecticut will play for one shot. As Smith hits the second. 12 points for Jerry in the first half. He'll check out for the final 33.5. Dyson, Robinson working up the floor. Walker is there. We go 2-2-1 two, two, and then get back in your comfort zone. Majuk comes back into the game. He's on the low post along with Edwards. And he's got some rebounding ability. A late ball screen. And Dyson, of course, is able to put it on the deck. Here comes the ball screen, and he got some rebounders. Walker, five to shoot, turns the corner, leads in, and draws a foul. Now that's, that is, what an experienced play, wasn't it? See the momentum taking him towards uh, the dribbler. And a little bit upsetting, too, because you played really good defense, two hits, and still able to linger in the air and draw some attention. Tough kid. Great when you see the light go on a player, isn't it? Yes. In the last couple of weeks, he has just become so attuned to what Jim Calhoun wants, how to run a team. You can see he's found his groove. Such a hard job, the point guard position. You have to know when to score or when to pass. Toughest, I think, don't you? It has to be. New York City point guard, though. He also knows how to get to the rim. His jump shot is 
Really improving. I'm waiting for my light to go on. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time, Gus. Here's Siva, three seconds to go in the nice front court. Turek, not a good look. Hey, he it in! Wow! Wow! Straight kissing stars! Boy, you've got to play the dribbler and defend on the wing. Is that outstanding use of the clock? The quick push, the courage to make the delivery in. Oh! Going to halftime with a little smooch. That'll cure your ills. Wow. Kiss it home. And that's the end of the first half with the score. Connecticut 45, Louisville 40. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. Thank you. Connecticut with the lead at the break. Gus Johnson along with Coach Raftery. And Coach, I mean, if you're Louisville, you're down by 13. You could have gotten blown out in this game, and now you start the second half. You were in foul trouble as well, and you're only down by five points. And they really even put the pressure on them, and yet turnovers, they had eight for Connecticut, but the big guys for Connecticut got out of the gate strong, did a solid job. Stanley doing a step-back jumper. He's been around the rim. He's rebounded. He's been very tough. And how about the play of Gavin Edwards? Nice, soft touch. Good around the rim as well. Just a solid performance. And then, you're right, uh, nursing back in the game because Jerry Smith just stepped up and played beautifully. Drove, got to the rim, made a three. He has been a solid contributor, but how about the old Mo? Because the momentum. Kyle, you're a, a little kiss to get them motivated. And a look at the Bud Light. First half stats, Connecticut dominating on the board. They sure have. You noticed those turnovers as well. It doesn't surprise you, Louisville, with the bench numbers in their favor. So we start the second half, and the Cardinals will have the basketball. Sosa's got two fouls. Samuels has two fouls. Jennings does not start the second half. He has three, so he's on the bench. Swapshire in for Samardo facing now. Jump hook, a little strong. And Stitch Robinson with another rebound. His eight. Dyson lost it. Loose, Swapshire, Louisville with numbers, Sosa, Couric to the bucket. Dude, Couric is a nice athlete. Oh, he's terrific around the rim. He can elevate, good offensive rebounder, but getting out because of good defense. Three threes in the first half for Couric, including that big one to end the half, and now he gets a deuce, three-point game. Louisville, nice a steal. Smith, he's got Couric, Couric. Nice hands by Dyson. And Dyson picks it up. You don't want to get in an up-and-down kind of a game uh, with Louisville. You're going to be solid. You want to run a few UConn, but don't get into a ragged kind of a performance. They love to deflect, turn you over, and go the other way. This is a big game, Coach, oh, for monster, both these teams. Monster. We expect a great second half here. A little more aggressive play. The far end, they went. Edwards down the lane. And no! Woo. Swapshire brings it down. Uh, the other end, they went to Samuels early. Let's see if they continue that. He didn't get a bad look last trip, even though he missed. Pick and roll, Sosa, nice look. Zamardo, Samuels, and one. Uh, that's what Sosa does. He's a changed man. Early in his career, they have thrown up a lob here. It's a little hesitation. He just gets by people, draws that D, and Samuel's not able to elevate as quickly as he might. Able to finish, nevertheless. Well, the Samardo, one thing about him, as we see some subs come into the game, he has 137 th free throws made, and he's just eight short of the single season top 10 category at the University of Louisville. So when he gets that ball in the hole, he knows how to get to the line. Now he's a tough kid. It's just a problem with the size, at least in the first half. So here you go, down by 13, Louisville. Now you're all tied up on the road. Walker, 16-footer, no, sticks, can't hang on. And here comes Sosa, pick and roll, very important for him. Inside, Samuels, drop step, jump hook, up and in, and Louisville with its first lead of the game. Pretty good D this trip as well. That's an offensive rebounding once again, but how about Samuels loading up, begging for the ball? 
Oof. And we talked about the importance of this basketball game. Let's look, take a look at Louisville's tournament profile. How about this? Strength of schedule is exceptional. RPA top 52 for six. The road record, not quite what Rick would like it, but uh, he knows each one of these games counts. Coming on strong at the end of the year, and again, his ability to keep them in the game the first half and then establish Samuels early here with some power game. And he told us before the game when we met with them in the locker room, as you take a look at some of their key wins and key losses, he said, if we win one of three, we have a shot. If we win two of three, I feel that we're a lock. Uh, you may be right, because that's what the committee's going to beat about. Some good wins since he there. You see UConn. Western Late. Carolina early in December. And he is a February coach, though. His club gets ready for the stretch drive. And they close the season at Marquette and at home against Syracuse. Yeah, easy, huh? There's a pick and roll against Sosa. They swing it. Nice hands by Sticks. Robinson. Walker. Look at the speed. Whoa. Timeout. Timeout. He got up and down with the quickness. 17.40 to play. Back after this. Give it to me. It stretch it out. How about Stanley Robinson? We talk about him around the rim. He's an unbelievable effort. But watch the ball handling ability. Most guys would have to pick it up. And how about the heavy play? He dribbles, calls the timeout. Great energy by both those guys. Yeah, Coach, let's take a look at the remaining schedules for both teams. Uh, nothing easy in this league. We know that. Uh, neither one is looking forward. How about Notre Dame with, without the big loop? Aaron go the other guy stepping up and doing a heck of a job winning at Georgetown yesterday So Walker inbounding it all of a sudden after leading by five at halftime Connecticut trailing inside Walker no battle around no Edwards had a chance to knock that one in Samuels wants it inside the kick. Swapshire. Yeah. Well, what a compliment to his dribble game. Uh, he is just getting better and better playing with such confidence. So let's see how Connecticut plays now that they're down after being up the entire game. Five point lead. Walker, dribble penetration, double clutch. Got it. Nice use to split, to set it up, to change the direction. So effective. That's a New York City guard getting to the bucket. <laughs> Is it not a Jersey guard? No, no. <laughs> no we play in that little distant three-point area. Swapshire again, wide open. And all of a sudden, Louisville has found their touch. Coach Calhoun storms off the bench. Timeout. Huskies, 53 to 48. Back to stores after this. Louisville, they've already come up with one huge victory on the road this season. At Syracuse, they found their shooting touch here in the second half. They're at uh, 50%. A different team. We know Samuels was establishing himself real low. They're on a 13 to 3 run, but I think Kyle Keurig's three at the end of the half. Rick starts in the second half. The energy level they have brought has not been matched early by UConn. They must if they want to get back in it. Connecticut led by as many as 13 in the first half. Beverly drives inside, Edwards, and he's fouled. Yeah, Kirk just to reach in, trying to help out. That's what they got to do, attack, and the bigs make themselves available. Cardinals now, number 14, Kyle Turek, his first team set. So the foul called on Kirk as he picks up his first. Kirk has been excellent in this game this afternoon for Louisville. As Edwards goes to the line, Kirk has 10 points. Edwards at the line. And the first one good. NCAA March Madness on demand is back every game from the first round of the championship. We'll be live online for free. Coach, and that's right up your alley. Find <laughs> out more and sign up for notifications at NCAA.com. The price is right for me. You're for right. free. But do you know how to turn on the computer yet? I've been there. I've been there. You're lucky. I got the kids down, straight to be out. I'm getting <laughs> into the modern world. <laughs> electronic media. I'm right with you. 53 to 50. Sosa. And Sosa's got to make good decisions. The He's excellent. the point guard. He's a senior. I tell you, that time, though, he had swap sharp. He just picked it up and kicked it to the foul line. Once in a while, it gets a little too deep. Sosa with six assists. He had eight against the Hoyas. Earlier during the week, Swapshire's hit two in a row. 
Samardo Samuels, jump hook, and the foul. Well, he's using that body, sticking a guy with the derriere and begging for the ball. He is a wide body on the box. Nine points now for Samardo. Inside, loose ball, knocked away. Great job by Jerry Smith. But traveling is called. Uh, Smith doing a nice job breaking, you're right. We'll return to Connecticut after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching CBS Sports, the exclusive home of the men's NCAA basketball championship. <laughs> and right now, Louisville on the road. Keurig just started it there. Sammy is around the rim, just so tough with the kiss. And Swapshire, a little downtown. Put a few pounds on, ready to play. And you can just see guys stepping up. Keurig. The average is three points a game. Look at that, 10. Samuels, a presence all of a sudden. And Smith, the little rake at the end, plus the points and scoring at a high number. And what you like about Samuels is a big man. He's been playing with two fouls forever. He had two fouls early in the first half and didn't pick up his third. But what's the key to playing with fouls, Coach? Well, some people just say avoid the guy totally. I mean, you've got to play competitively, but don't do anything silly. And be basic, don't reach in, don't get those nickel dime fouls. But good teams will go at you, particularly a guy like Samuels. Dyson. Now the bounce pass to Edwards out of bounds, threw that one too low. Dyson should have kept the dribble, and the Samuels had not really played either guy. You just see the two guys that have been around and buddies for a long time. Very interesting stat. Connecticut has turned it over 13 times. Swapshire off the mark. Louisville only seven. So the Huskies have been sloppy with the basketball. Dyson, rising fire. Edwards, offensive rebound, and a foul. Current got him. A good distribution of the ball. Walker to Dyson gave him a real clean look. And, and that offside rebound. Uh, just getting the right spot, you can be a factor. Edwards almost not ready. Walker fires, and there is it. Nice kick out. Now you made a comment about New York City guards, and Walker being one and so should the other. Learning how to get others involved is something that's a process, and, and right now these two have been extremely effective in that area. And learning when to take over when they need to. No question. What kind of shot you want? Samuel, drop step, jump hook. No, but a foul. And this will go against Connecticut. Aquando, I believe that might be three, if I'm not mistaken. Aquando picking up his fourth, so he'll have to sit. Oriaki quickly off the bench. Jim Calhoun pacing. Now, the one thing about shot blockers, they have a tendency to stay behind the guy and not do their homework early. And right now, Samuels is just eating them up with the big body, begging for the ball. And of course, the acknowledgement of getting it in there on time has been terrific for Louisville. Smarto Samuels at the line. He played to Danny Hurley at St. Benedict's in Newark. Remember Danny? The lefty, he could stroke it. Everybody talks about Bobby. Danny had some game, too. Played in St. Hall for DJ. Both free throws good for Samuels, who now has 11. He had two at halftime. That sets up the press for the Cardinals. In the front court, the lob. Edwards, no first. But try, try again. And a great job by Dyson, too, finding him. Two-point ball game. Connecticut storming back. Now Sosa runs a pick and roll with Swapshire. Good ball hands. deflected, out of bounds. Good hands by Kemba Walker. Yeah, I would put Edwards on the box, though. We're talking about Samuels. Counter him. Make him play you down at the other end. He's got good hands both ways with hooks. Swapshire driving. Strip. And out of bounds. Give him Edwards. Man. <laughs> All Tell over. Feline quickness. As one Walt Frazier would say. Clyde. The best, right? Now Knowles, no doubt about it, comes in the game dealt as well. Now they just honored the championship team, right? In That's York. right, 1940. Yeah. Clyde Willis, I saw that. Uh, 40 years, excuse me, 1970.
Jennings just in the game. Did start the second half because of foul trouble. He has three misses. UConn with a chance to tie it with the deuce, take the lead with the triple inside. And a reach in foul coming up against Siba, who just checked in. Yeah, they just got to be a little tougher with the ball, though. If that were clean, they're going the other way. Siba three is the backup guy. Siba with a nice first half. He had six points, two threes, and a steal. What a jump. How about that anticipation? He can't throw those quails up there. Turnovers, 14 now for Connecticut. Siva, in and out. Oriaki, looking for a guard. Dyson has been quiet offensively. There you go. Edwards, get him in there. Put him on the box. Got a little dream shake down there, too. Yes, that's right. Not the footwork. Knowles deep. Oh, he hit it for three. Well, you better be ready. Siva can push it just like Sosa. Good kick to the corner. Louisville up by three. Edwards again. This time he draws a double and throws it away. 15 turnover. Just got to eat it there. And fan, bring the dribble out to the corner. Drag the double. Louisville forces 15 turnovers a game. 15.5 to be exact. Rick Patino. He's pumping his fist on the sideline. Here's a pick and roll. Swap Giants hit a couple. And throws it out of bounds. Tough angle on the delivery, and that time the defense was solid. Oriaki in the denial stance just made that early pass happen. Rick Patino telling us if they win two, they feel like they're a lot. They have Syracuse to end the season at home. Their next game is Marquette. Cardinals come into this game with an 18 and 10 record, 9 and 6 in the Big East Conference. Six Robinson inside Edwards Connecticut throwing it away again. Well, not a good look either. 16 turnovers. Tough entry, wasn't it? Very tough. And they're running everything, everything through Edwards. They did it in the first half. It was successful. Louisville's made an adjustment. And they're they're doubling them. And that last two trips, they have been doing a good job on it early. That's why maybe get him to the foul line, then slide him to the box. And he's got to make a quick decision on the catch. Steve turns the corner, keeps the dribble alive. On the bounce, the kick, swap shire. <laughs> Robinson with a rebound. That zone causing Connecticut a lot of trouble. They've got to get some dribble penetration from the guards. That means Walker. And look at the deflections that the hands. Louisville's coming up with. They like to get 35 a game. They have games over 50. They're always active, always in position. You just dominate what you want to do. Flashing is Dyson. 15-foot fade. No. The Knowles will rip it down. Good play, though, don't you think? Good yes. change. Keep the bigs around the rim. 60 to 57. It's getting real warm in Gamble Pavilion. Here in the Big East Conference. Siva. Good job handling the fade on Delk. They didn't do that well in the first game. Jennings wants it. Swapshire. Crossover. Can't bank it in. And Edwards comes up with the rebound. His ninth. This is why you're home. You need a little backing when you're struggling. Oriaki blocked from behind. And out of bounds will head the other way. Connecticut just looks completely out of sync against this 2-3. And a little tired. 60-57. to 57. They'll take a blow now. Back after this. They, they have some talent, but amazing. I see Wolfer leaves line with his down. Sort of, and they're redoing the pit. Oh, my putting goodness. Putting a lot of money in it. And uh, that home court advantage has always been extraordinary there. It's really a special place to play. And when you walk in on ground level, you have to walk down maybe five or six flights of stairs or the equivalent of five or six flights of stairs. And there's altitude. Inside, nice. nice play. Jennings sealed his man, got the ball, and put it in. Well, you just fall asleep defensively for a moment, and this team is reading it terrific. They went for that little lob. Look. With Delph, and then reversed the ball down, down the lane. Another turnover. Number 17, Jennings. 
Couldn't hold on. He gets it back. Misses the chippy. Batted around. Swapshire, no. And Edwards finally clears it. Boy, how frustrating is that? Walker down the lane. The finger roll. No. But yes. Sticks. When you push the ball like Kemba Walker does, a lot of good things happen for your team. And oh, what a completion. 62 to 59. Backdoor Knowles. Siva D. And a whistle and foul. Connecticut will get it again, but watch Sticks Robinson on senior day. How about the elevation here? Extraordinary. Ooh, we have seen him do some things in his career, but the little guy sets it up with a nice slide by and then send it in number two one. Robinson with 14 points and 12 rebounds. 62-59 as we hit 10 minutes to play. Because you need Walker to turn the corner. And you mentioned his goal commercial. Oh, got to protect the ball. Whew. 18 turnovers for UConn. They had eight in the first half. Well, we got a little better defense that time on Jennings. Don't let him shape up. And they got the small change with the elbow. Nose oh. ball. Mm. At Thursday on Survivor, the search is on for two hidden immunity idols. But are they a blessing or a curse? New Survivor Thursday on the CBS. Dyson along with Walker will bring it up the floor. Coombs McDaniel also on the floor. Oriaki and Robinson. Kimball Walker off the heel. Long rebound. Stanley Robinson has it taken away. Siva, speed dribble. No looker. Swapshire with the finish. Boy, they can turn a turnover. And hold on, is somebody hurt here? Now some talking going on between Knowles and Robinson. Boy, just aggressive pursuing the ball. Siva, the push out. And Swapshire immediately getting himself in position to get that deuce at the other end. Well, you gotta protect the ball when you play Louisville. And the official doing a nice job not giving either player a technical foul, having a little conversation with them and telling them to control their emotion. And Rick counters with Smith, too. Look at how they play the passing lane and then the help by Jennings. Siva. Up and in. Quick time Another now. timeout call by Connecticut. He's going to get some new players in the game. 8.57 to go. 67.59 Louisville. Should have turned this thing around for them, and then they countered with that win uh, during the week against West Virginia. But right now, being taken to task here by not handling the ball, turning it over, 20 turnovers, a lot of it, with earned passes and not passing the ball properly. They only average 14 a game, which is uh, considerably different. And it's not the full court pressure that's hurt. Right? It's the zone. You're Playing absolutely pass. right, Coach. Playing the passing lanes. Louisville has been terrific at anticipating. Down the lane. Edwards can't finish. Out of bounds. And the Cardinals get it again. They couldn't beat that play, though. Walker just broke the D down. And just the protection of the ball at the end. Nice slip. And you just see better defensive with Jennings. Excellent at blocking shots and not fouling. Louisville with their largest lead of the game, 66 to 59. They've been great with the basketball. Cardinals have turned it over only nine times. And force 20. Siva turns a corner. Double clutch. No. Walker foul. And that'll be four. On Jennings. Not a good one. That wasn't a smart play. That's one of those fatigue fouls. You don't want to run down the other end. Just give it up. It's not a hustle foul. You saw Siva get to that rim earlier this time. The size prevails. And with a black at the end by Jennings. Give away. Samardo Samuels coming back in. Jennings heads to the bench. And that will send Walker to the line. Shooting one and one. Uh, Jennings is going to be okay, though. He is a talented kid that's learning how to play in a lot of starts of late. Kimball yeah. Walker's hit some clutch free throws in this game already. Getting the front end of the one and one, he now has 20 points. He's in some big games. Villanova, big one. West Virginia stepping it up. 
And even here, trying to make plays, get in the lane, put that pass to Edwards. Walker again. He's now eight for eight from the free throw line. Five point game. Louisville. Seba, the freshman, getting a lot of PT late in this ball game. Sosa's on the bench, the senior. And this is the guy they like to load up at the end of this. Smith quiet in the second half. There he is begging. Samuels, great position. Splits and draws a foul. Oriaki got him. 7.50 to play second half. Louisville heading to the free throw line with a 66-61 lead. Just the way they're getting after it defensively, creating problems, turnovers. Uh, uh, UConn really having a hard time coming up with an offense that's going to run effectively each trip. Very interesting, though, when you watch Rick Pitino and his squad and their ability to raise their level of, of energy on the road. They did it at Syracuse, and they're doing it today, today rather, here against Connecticut. I, I know you've seen their practices over the years. That level of intensity is incredible. They take that home or away. You've got to meet that, and then you've got to make good decisions, and you've got to be tough with the basketball. Ball, something UConn has not been. Samardo Samuels at the line. Also, Louisville doing a nice job at the free throw line this afternoon. They are nine, making ten now of thirteen. At seventy-seven percent. Thirty-six points against ND. I mean, usually. If you don't have size, he has a problem. But now he's been effective in his footwork, begging for the ball, being stronger once he gets it. Very efficient game for the Cardinals. 79% from the free throw line now. 11 of 14, only nine turnovers. And they're shooting 45%. And they forced 20 turnovers. Dyson. Tough trip here, but he gets something. Skip pass, Walker. Rebound. Oriaki. Dyson. Got it. How about that? So effective on kickouts. Freeze or the long jumper. Very tough to cover both. And I think this stat is right. Connecticut out rebounding Louisville. From what the monitor says, 45-18. Wow, that That's their strength. Samuels around the rim, no. And at the half, 28 to 11. So I mean, they've been banging that glass. Turnover's going to even the thing out. Inside, Oriaki. Mm. Nice look from Dyson. And here come the Huskies. 6.42 to play second half. Louisville's lead down to three. Travel to West Lafayette to take on third-ranked Purdue. Remember, Purdue without Robbie Hummel, out for the rest of the year at 16 points a game because of an ACL injury, but they still have a lot of talent. Chris Cambridge, Juan Johnson, and that coach, Matt Painter, he is one of the most talented young coaches in all of sure. college ball and both teams really get after you defensively and that's exactly what UConn has to do 68-65 Sosa back in the game they run the weave Smith down the lane strip Dyson he's got Walker on his hip Dyson to the bucket Big time players step up in big moments. Tyson, their leading scorer with 13. Great patience running the floor. Sosa penetrating, jump hook, air ball. Walker, his former high school teammate, with the rebound. Yukon can take the lead right here. And Tyson draws a foul. He'll go to the line. Mm. Smith or Sosa. But the composure of Dyson, Walker on his right, and just feeling the day and shouldering, going at the numbers and the lead out. Jerome Dyson leads the Huskies in scoring at 18.6 a game, and he's reached the 20-point mark 26 times in his Husky career, most recently against Rutgers, and he is one of 10 UConn players under Coach Calhoun to crack the 20-point mark 20 or more times.
Richard Hamilton, as he misses, has done it 53 times, the all-time record. And he just makes plays, guys. Tough kid. 68-67. Zipper to a load-up. Now Samuels posting again. So so deep. Edwards pulls it down. Walker, head of steam. Smart. Wait for the big guy to get involved here. The ball screen are locked and load low. Diagonal pass, Oriaki offense. Offensive foul. Great job by Samardo Samuels to step in and take the charge. Oriaki picks up his four. Now, I thought he was moving, Gus, on this one. Tell you what, he just took the cushion and hit. A great pass from the top, though. And the big guy, unfortunately, negates that opportunity. Swapshire dealt, turns the corner, kicks it down, rise and fire. Off the mark for Sosa. His jump shot has been erratic. He's one of six today. Dyson lobs it. Oriaki kicks it. Walker picks it up. 22 on the clock. Walker, the scoop. Oh, oh. George Gervin, Figaro, Connecticut on an 8-0 run to take a one-point lead. Baseline, no. Samuel can't hold. Composure right now. Run your stuff, get a touch to the big. Look a little fatigued after that incredible performance. Dyson. Double clutch lefty. No. Batted around. Edwards. And he'll go to the line. Rebounding such a key, folks. Connecticut pounding them on the boards. 49 19. Now they're competitive, and here's that little scoop to the hoop. And the deuce by the point guard who is really learning to understand how to play the game. Big time release. In fact, they're in a little smile, too. But getting after a little, being very competitive right now, UConn. Three fouls on Samuels. Edwards, five of six at the line today. UConn. 17 of 23 from the free throw line. 75%. Now make it 18 of 24 after that free throw. And Edwards gets the ball. And Louis with the last couple of trips has used that high ball screen, drove, driven the ball, and kicked to the corner. I think they had to get Samuels involved a little bit. Here's the bag. Connecticut on a 10-0 run. Swapshire. And a whistle and foul. And this will go against the Huskies. Timeout on the floor. 3.51 to play. Back after this. Arrow favors the Huskies. And those little check marks on the bottom are timeouts. See those little check marks down there coach thank you i appreciate that and not many fouls but there are some foul problems uh, jennings the most obvious oriaki versus quando out uh, one less big for samardo samuels to deal with 10-0 run now for connecticut after being down by seven nice nice double for Knowles. give him an open look wide open they have missed a number of opportunities Good kick reload this time he hits it. How unselfish is Samuels, though? Great understanding of the time score and a terrific read. That ties it at 71. Walker penetrated and a reach in foul. Good call. And Walker will go to the line and shoot two. Well, he can break it down. Kenny, he just understands when to get in the crack. Looking on in disbelief. What a giveaway. Sosa picks up his fourth. Kimball Walker on the afternoon has been electric. 23 points. I got to get this. 
four rebounds, three assists. Make it 24 now. Nine for nine from the free throw line. I tell you, the beat goes on for this kid. He has just stepped up game in and game out of late. And he gets it there. He's perfect. Ten for ten from the strike. You got up by a deuce. Current back in the game. He's hit some big shots. Three threes for Louisville. And he's a good rebounder, too. Knowles crosses over, pulls up. Oh! How about him? Off the bounce. Uh, the one thing Rick Pitino does gives kids confidence. I mean, he doesn't get upset on shot. A miss. Just continue to keep on trucking. Ten points for Noel. Louisville back in the zone. Looks like they're playing a 1-2-2 now. Well, they match up on it, Dustin. The job is to keep the ball outside. If you're guarding the guard, you have a man-to-man -man principle. Don't let them turn the corner. Here they get double. Game tied at 73. Dyson cut off. Double team. Six to shoot. Walker. Rims off. A great presence by Dyson. Not to turn it over and make a fine. Swapshire doing a nice job as he picked up his fifth rebound. He's hit a couple of threes in this game. Pin down. And Rick Pitino wants a timeout. timeout 2.15 to play. Two timeouts left for Louisville. 73 apiece. Tonight on CBS is all due, beginning with 60 minutes. And once again, the game reset for you. I mentioned the uh, five fouls by UConn. Pretty solid on that end of the floor. Uh, Rick didn't like what they were running there. They were trying to just load up Samardo on a pin down on the guard and a pop out. 12 to shoot. Watch Curry. He'll, he's a floater. Knowles has been good. One on one. To Knowles. Off the glass again. How about this kid? With confidence, exploding to the tip. 12 points. Louisville up by two. Under two to go. And the flash is open if they go for it. They're standing here. At Gamble. Dyson, the kick. Walker steps into it. And hits. Walker with 28. And once again, Dyson finding on that penetration. 76, 75. No, he's feeling it now. Sosa, let's see if they go back to Knowles. He's been dynamic. 12 to shoot. Swampshire inside. Samuels at foul. Good move, though. Heady. Samuels loading up, but Dyson with the understanding of putting it on the deck and then kicking. And oh my goodness, how well has Walker been playing? Just solid, stepping into it. And that's the easiest kind of three point shot you're going to get in a half court set. Stepping in big time. Samardo Samuels, two points in the first half, 13 now. And he misses the first. Well, Rick talking about the defense at the other end. How do they keep these guys in front of them? The Dyson and Walker in particular. Samuels for the tie. He's got it. 76-76. Huge game for both teams. Well, let's see if they want Robinson on the foul line. Dyson. The sticks Robinson. Walker has been the go-to guy. Okay, Robinson get elevated, but there's Keurig on the line. Having a little trouble. Dyson. In and out to the bucket. Leaves it. And they turn it over. So here come the Cardinals. 22 turnovers. About a three-second differential between the game and shot. And Coach Patino has a timeout to burn. 29.3 to go. 26 on the shot clock for Louisville. Game tied at 76. 26 seconds on the shot clock for Louisville as you take a look at the reset. 
Each team with a timeout left. Each team will be shooting after fouls. Connecticut will shoot two. Louisville one and one. Now, there's so many things that Louisville likes to run. They like to run the baseline bump to get a jump shot. And then the big guy, Samardo, pins. They like to run the high ball screen. He'll do it late in the shot clock, hoping for a good shot and a follow. Couric comes in the game. Swapshire, Knowles, Sosa, and Samuels. Robinson, Walker, Dyson, Edwards, and Oriaki. Knowles and Couric. Keep your eye on them. They're in both corners. Here's Sosa. He's got to have eyes. 14 to go. Samuel. Gotta get it back. Gotta give it back. 10 to go. Sosa. Here he goes. To the bucket. Oh! To Baker. He got it. Here comes Walker. Walker. Oh! oh rejected. Recovered. Loose. Batted. Sosa. Ball game. Louisville. What a play by Edgar Sosa in the end. Refuse the ball screen. Uses the right to left and gets to the rim. Wow. Didn't want the double up, but how about the layup at the end? And Gus, the little guy from Rice, just got better and better all year. Responded to the coaching and Samuels rejecting at the rim. What a big time road victory. Louisville improves to 19 and 10, 10 and 6 in the conference with a 78 76 win on the road at Connecticut. Coming up next, it's a battle in the Big Ten as 14th ranked Michigan State clashes with third ranked Purdue. For Coach Raftery, this is Gus Johnson saying so long from stores. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, the exclusive.